Siemens and Festo are here in a collaboration and here as award winners. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Firstly, now, uh, Keith, talk us through one of the awards that you've got here. Okay, well, this is the uh, most innovative system uh, award, which is uh, it's a great pleasure, actually, of getting this from the PPMA because um, it is a fantastic collaboration we've got with Festo and having that recognition that we've actually produced something that's going to be beneficial for the industry, that's, that's fantastic. Excellent. Now, Steve, you've got a second award here. Talk us through this one. And this was just reinforcing the same thing, that we're, uh, we won the partnership award together. So this was a technical collaboration between our two companies. We were providing some of the sort of mechanical world and Siemens providing the control uh, side of the uh, equipment here. So uh, really excited, really pleased. Brilliant. Well, that's great news. Now, it's clear what you can both offer to each other, but why was this collaboration uh, agreed rather than working with any other similar sort of businesses? I, th I think it was just uh, bringing, bringing two of the, uh, the strongest brands uh, in, in the game really together. Um, so, so from, a, from a Festo perspective and a Siemens perspective, it is a sort of a marriage sort of made in heaven a little bit. And, you know, t together we, we couldn't have done this individually, collectively. T together we've actually pulled something off really, like I said, is going to be uh, really, really strong for, for packaging machinery and uh, the food industry and, and CPG industry. So. That's very exciting for both of you. Now, we'll come back to our robot friend in a second, but perhaps, Steve, you could talk us through slightly the machinery that we have behind us. If we take a, a, just a very small walk over, what do we have here and what does it achieve? So this is the multi-carrier system that we developed jointly, and what it does is it enables us to very flexibly move components around uh, a machine system. What's different about this one is we can combine this with a very traditional conveyor system and this linear motor technology, which really is the cutting edge um, technology for moving uh, parts around on a machine. And it gives a really high degree of flexibility, cutting out change over times, and uh, gives you a, a chance for a lot of uh, Industry 4.0 implementation, um, which is all about uh, customer choice and flexibility. And can you tell us a little bit more detail, um, perhaps Keith, on how this helps your clients? Okay, well, the, the, the industry, not just, just uh, the food industry, but all manufacturing really has to be productive, it has to be agile. I think and the agility piece is the piece that's really gonna drive this forward. So consumer choice, consumers want uh, a lower cost produce, but they need an awful lot of um, uh, the technology that we have here is going to start to deliver that agility, which is really key to, uh, to the manufacturing sector. Fantastic. And I think to have the final say, perhaps we should come back and meet your robot friend over here, who's been quite a feature on the stand, been uh, creating a lot of attention. Um, would you like to talk us through the technology? I believe this is a Festo project, isn't it? Um, so talk us through the incredible robot we have here called Robot Espion. Robot Thespian, there we go, Shannon, there he's Shakespearean. Um, so talk us through the technology we're actually looking at here. So this is a, um, an animatronic robot that was developed by a customer of ours down in Cornwall and Falmouth and uh, he's a company called Engineered Arts and he uses our technology with the muscles and the uh, pneumatic valves on here to control his features. Um, he was originally developed for um, some showpieces like in the Eden Project, but now lots of them have been built. They're all over the world, science museums, places like NASA um, Museum, this sort of thing. Very impressed, and I think we should uh, let him have the final say indeed. <laughs> Chaps, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. The sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love.